anything worth doing is really fucking hard. If I have any recollection of everything I did, bodybuilding prep, marathon, two bodybuilding preps, half Ironman, the shit sucks at some point, but on the other side, it's beautiful to finish, and it's a beautiful thing in life to be able to push yourself. So if you have two legs and you have a healthy heart, man, you have no excuse, but just to live life to the fullest. Love you guys. Hope this motivates you. If I can run 20, you can fuck, you can fucking run one, okay? All right, so this is gonna be everything I eat. I'm giving it to Brittany. Before I have pizza in my mouth, before I run 20 miles. So right here we're gonna okay, have like- Okay, not chew it up. <laughs> so right here we have, so right here we have pizza. I'm gonna have probably three more slices. We have a uh, chicken nugget. And then cheesy bread. So I'll see you guys after I smash this for the 20 miles. Alright, so as you guys saw, just chug some greens. In that it was just greens and fiber. I like to have that because I like get my micronutrients in before I run, just because I think maybe my body will pull from it. And then uh, fiber just to uh, get the bowel movements going. And it's just, I think the best thing to do is to be consistent with what you take. So then um, that's what I had. And then right here is just a protein coffee. So right here we have one scoop of uh, raw chocolate protein with four espresso shots. And then we have one scoop of collagen. Now I just started ch taking collagen, and I I don't know 100% if it if it works. Other than the skin part, I kind of notice my skin's a little more clear. Um, and largely that is diet, but also um, you know I think collagen helps a little. So yeah, just gonna kind of document that too. I've been tossing in my protein coffee. So yeah, it's supposed to help with hair, skin, and nails, and hopefully it makes us faster. So yeah. I'm gonna throw this back and I'll see you guys after 20 miles or during during 20 miles. So cheers. What the heck? First, I guess I'm in chest. I feel like something's off. I don't think off. you keep it strapped. I think you just run with no, it. No, yeah, it's gotta have some sort of strap. Do a little dog in place. I guess it feels pretty good. It's gonna fall. Anyways, we're gonna fill these up with carbs. Um, so raw in these two bottles right here. I can't show you guys. It's an ultra endurance orange but that raw is making and it's a carb source. So in each scoop, um, I'm not gonna give the details away, but it's coming and um, it's a carb source and it's gonna be dropping. So yeah. I'm gonna have that in each water bottle. <laughs> this is my first time wearing it, so I'm a little excited. I don't even, oh, they have plastic on them. Anyways, I'm gonna go run 20 miles with this shit on. All right, so I just got some information for um, what's in this product right here. So instead of using cluster dextrin because it doesn't mix well, it's multidextrin and it's 24 grams of carbs per scoop. Um, so that's what I'm going to use. I don't know exactly how many scoops I'm going to take. I'll let you guys know. I got to reach out to my coach, Matt Johnson, um, who's done, uh, ultra marathons, hundred miles. So I'm going to reach out to him and, um, see what the protocol is. And like I said, I'll update you on the run, but per scoop is 24 grams of carbs and, um, it's mixed with maltodextrin and sodium and, um, it is water tested. So, uh, everything in here is just real clean and digestible. So. Yeah, I'm excited for that. So I'm gonna be mixing those two together and, and going for this long run. Just wanna keep you guys updated on you know what I'm taking in nutrition wise. So yeah, this is all a learning process for me, um, but I'm just blessed to be able to take you guys along with the process. This is what we got. Just got a nutrition plan down. 90 grams of carbs an hour. So two scoops of carbs, which is 24 grams of carbs per scoop. So uh, 48 grams of carbs per scoop or I mean in each bottle. So I'm gonna come back, refuel. I might even pick up some other things um, at the grocery store and I'll show you guys what those are. If I consume them, throw it in my backpack. Um, but yeah, 
90 grams of carbs per hour for this 20 mile run. So let's do it. All right, so we just got to the trailhead. We're gonna have two large Rice Krispies. There is um, 30 grams of carbs, so 60 grams of carbs on top of the 90 grams. So we're around 150 grams of carbs consumed during this run. And maybe I'll stop at a gas station if I pass one to get some more in. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But so far on this run, we're gonna have 150 grams of carbs. So that's a, a good way to kick it off the morning for a 20 mile run with pizza last night. <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. Let's go do this shit. Two and a half miles in. Holding like a 830 pulse. 130 to 140 beats per minute. Got the carbs on deck. I need them. So yeah, just nice and slow. Nice and chill. Mile five. Eight fifteen minute per mile. Floating around 150 and 140 be beats per minute, so I'm gonna bring the pace down just so I don't burn out. Remember, be the tortoise, not the hare. Six miles in, I'm floating, dr like drinking out of these two every five minutes, just so I'm not super heavy on one end. But yeah, six miles in, eat 30 pieces again. So, yeah, gonna slow it down though, because we got, what is it, 13 more miles, so a half marathon left. Gonna stop at mile 10, eat a Rice Krispie, and we'll see when we consume the rest of our carbs. Still got a decent amount in here, probably like one more scoop in each bottle. So, yeah, I'm trying to be disciplined with how I'm consuming the fuel. Making sure I'm staying ahead of it, not behind. Nine miles in, holding an eight minute flat pace almost. Time for a rice crispy treat. Gonna throw this back and continue running, so. This is like my first time ever really considering how important it is to train with like carbohydrates. Actually makes a big difference. I'm such an idiot. I always think I can like just power through it without it. It's like the bodybuilder type aesthetics in me where I'm like carbs are bad, but. Ten miles in to this long run, going through a little eerie cave. You know, this reminds me of the cave, paint cave I'll be in. But eventually, everything gets easier, and the shit opens up. Your day gets better. Everything seems to make sense. If you ever felt what I mean, that's what it means to battle through a hard time. Everything eventually starts to make sense. When you keep pushing through that tunnel, everything will brighten up. Just some, some thoughts on my 10 miles. I love this because I can really fucking analyze myself and just stir up some thoughts and wisdom that get me through these runs. So, yeah, almost at 10, then we're turning around. We are 15, almost 16 miles in. Gonna have another Rice Krispie. Um, need some fast acting carbs. So I'm gonna have the Rice Krispie and then I'm practicing my stopping and starting and fueling because every five miles I'm gonna have an aid station during the 100 mile race. So just practicing on you know, recovering from each five mile interval and I uh, slowed down a bit, 826 pace. So we're riding on track, but anything worth doing is really fucking hard. If I have any recollection of everything I did, bodybuilding prep, marathon, two bodybuilding preps, half Ironman, the shit sucks at some point, but on the other side, it's beautiful to finish and it's a beautiful thing in life to be able to push yourself. So if you have two legs and you have a healthy heart, man, you have no excuse, but just to live life to the fullest. Get some, get some Rice Krispies. Believe in yourself. The 
just like that, wrapped up. 20 miles. Stop to get up some water. Man, I want you guys to see the ups and downs. But sometimes in life, you just gotta stay positive. Even though it's hard, it's hard to see, like, sometimes you question what you're doing. Or sometimes you might be like, no, I want to give up, but I promise it's worth it. I'm so glad I finished the 20 miles. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever, I don't necessarily feel fucking amazing, but I, I'll feel amazing. And I do feel amazing that I did it. And I, I went through it. So, yeah, 20 miles. And I'll show you guys what the rest of the day looks like. I'm just going to be raw with it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat as much food as I, I say I'm going to. Because I feel like a little uneasy in the stomach from sloshing around. But I'm trying to get used to that. So, and, you know, my gut can process it on the race and it won't be too big of an issue. Let's see what it was. Sub two hour and a half. So let's see. Okay, what it, oh shit. It's pretty good. 835 minute per round, so you guys wanna see it. Believe me. 20 miles. Love you guys. Hope this motivates you. If I can run 20, you can you can fucking run one, okay? Post 20 mile run, the legs and the chafing have me waddling like a penguin. So I think, didn't you say it because I'm wearing too tight of underwear? No, you need to wear tighter. So I need to wear tighter underwear. So if you guys have any experience with chafing, let me know in the comments because, yeah, I never get this shit, but man, my, my inside of my legs are on fire right now. All right, so for dinner, we have eight ounces of 95% lean beef, we're cooking up some rice in um, the microwave and then we have roasted or air fried potatoes and um, that's gonna be 400 grams and then 150 grams of rice like I said and I'll show you guys the macros also I'll add an avocado to this and show you guys everything put in the macros and yeah that's gonna be a full day of eating and um, yeah I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like and yeah, full day of eating, running 20 miles, and uh, experiencing some unreal amount of chafing, which is new, which is fun. So yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna have is a Bear Bell, I don't know if you can see, a Bear Bell banana chocolate bar. Really good. So this is gonna be the first one, 20 grams of protein in this, 190 calories. So yeah. All right, so this is what we're gonna have. Uh, next, we got one scoop of vegan protein with one serving of, um, <laughs> oops with one serving of light and fit um, pumpkin, 
with one serving of pumpkin, pure pumpkin. This adds like more like vitamins and nutrients and it's really healthy. Right, Brittany? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, some fiber to that as well to keep the stomach full. And then some peanut butter and I'm gonna mix that up and show you guys what that looks like. So this is like the consistency. It's real thick, like ice cream, but amazing. Also, what I do is I add stevia to it, and kind of what it tastes like is like, um, if you ever have pumpkin pie, like the creaming that goes on inside the pumpkin pie, like the actual pumpkin pie filling. It's kind of what it tastes like, so. That's what I'm gonna call it, pumpkin pie filling protein bowl. <laughs> Say protein after everything that you put protein powder in it. What's up guys, so as you saw, we didn't finish quite the goal of eating all the macros that we needed and we didn't hit the calories that we needed and it's the next morning and I ran 20 miles and yes I feel it extra today I feel really tired as you guys can probably tell I just woke up but I also feel just really tired in general a little fatigued so today is just gonna be catching back up again um, so yesterday I was supposed to eat like I said like 34 to 3500 calories and I, I only ate like 2600 so or 2700 so yeah i'm gonna account for the calories that i didn't eat so i have to eat normally during the week when i'm not running since today's an off day i'll eat you know 2600 2700 calories um so if there's ever a time where you have a goal and you don't hit it it's about what you do in a weekly's time so i have to add 600 calories to today or maybe i'll do 300 today and 300 tomorrow so that would put me at instead of eating 2700 calories on my rest days because i have two rest days i'll eat um 3000 to 3100 so the next two days to replenish my carbs and my glycogen and that's where those calories would come from either carbs or fat um, just because those are the two energy sources the body mainly uses um, so with that being said you know, if you ever mess up on your diet or whatnot and you don't hit the amount of calories that you want or you go over, you can always pull away from different days because it's what you do over a period of time, not just one day. Yeah, it's important to be consistent, but life happens. Like I said, I didn't feel the best yesterday, so I didn't get the log on my food. Um, but with that being said, that's the video. Hope you guys like it. The pizza was amazing at least, but Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, stay corn fed. I'll catch you guys in the next one, episode four of Ultra Prep. So, I'll see you then.